Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going to go over a whole practice. So I'm going to walk you through my warm up, everything I'm doing to get ready um, before I start practicing. So um, today, this vlog is going to be like a bigger Monday type of workout for me. So first thing I'll do is some trigger point, um, get my lacrosse ball out and break up the scar tissue in my hamstrings and kind of get the, the muscles loosened up for the day. Uh, the main thing here is to find the sore parts, you know, the muscles that are sore and really pinpoint them, you know. So I think the lacrosse ball is like more of a detail type of uh, tool. You know, you can use a foam roller, but making sure that you're not just doing broad strokes, but you're actually pinpointing problem areas and getting in there and breaking it up so that'll be the first thing I do and then the next thing I'll do is just a little bit of ankle mobility um, running on hard surfaces can be tough on your joints so just getting a little uh, band here and working out the ankles to get them ready for the day since I'll be jumping and sprinting um, still struggling with some rib issues so I know in this practice I was planning on doing some hurdle stuff and block stuff but ribs are still it's just a slow slow process but um, I love to get this stick out or there's like little PVC pipes you can see behind and just warming up I put it in a lot of vlogs but never really explain it but um, just slowly moving and warming the body up um, I like you know you you can use all kinds of things but I've throughout the years enjoyed using um, some sticks to, to get warmed up, get the shoulders loose, get the core warmed up, get the body ready to start performing. Um, and another good one for the hamstrings here. Just uh, oh, and also you know I'll use the stick for like discus to keep my um, to keep my arms in the right plane. And uh, yeah, it's just a good little warm up, nice and easy. No uh, nothing nothing uh, too fast or crazy just a slow gradual warm-up I don't know what this is maybe like some Kempo karate this is very important make sure when the weather's getting nicer you get out the old five iron and start start warming up but seriously this is just a good way to warm up the core too and have a little fun put a little turf out there so um so this originally i got for massaging this was something that i saw uh devin cornelius um, doing i'll put a, a little link in the description if you want to go follow him he trains with uh tie grope and i've known him for quite a while he was a ga down in central missouri when i was down there was he Maybe not a GA, but he was getting his masters down there. Um, and I use it just to warm up now. Um, it's just a floor buffer and yeah, good warm up. Okay, a little more core mobility. You know, I like my warm ups as I've gotten older just kind of start out a lot slower. I'm not, I don't start off with like jogging right away. Um, I just slowly waking the body up, getting the joints loose. Um, yeah, so just like slow. I think before I did this hurdle mobility is when I, I would do some jogging. I didn't record myself jogging, but I would typically do between 400 to 800 meters of jogging, skipping, and um, some A skips, B skips, stuff like that. And then getting the hips warmed up for hurdles because I was going to hurdle this day, but I didn't end up hurdling. Like I said before, having issues with my ribs still, so this feels good. Um, wasn't able to do this a week ago, but that's, you know, good progress. It's just a slow process, so. Um, so this one, a little CNS wake up. If you don't know what CNS is, it's just central nervous system. Um, so 
you want to wake up the central nervous system because that's what's going to uh, determine how fast you're going, how quick you are, how you can react. Um, so again, these are just really slow. I'll pick it up as I as I go, but the plan was to, I threw on the shot put shoes, do a little med ball warm up, get the CNS going, the quick twitch muscles going, and then get a little shot put, Ezra in there throwing his shot put, um, doing some underhand throws and overhead backs, being explosive, you know, f- you know, the body's finally warmed and now we're just trying to, uh, get explosive and quick before we start doing other things so this isn't something i always do just something i threw in there just so you can see like a good you know another way to warm up um it is very time consuming to get this all set up so that's something you want to do every day you know because i gotta put those mats out there a little pole vault today was really working on trying to get my bottom arm strong at the um on the pole so it doesn't look so great but big improvement from if you've seen me before also was getting on bigger sticks today this is just from four left so a very short approach so i can get more jumps in but even right there my bottom arm looks way better than what it has in the past and i got end up getting on a 14 7 85 probably the biggest stick i've ever been on from four less for sure and that was that was the 14785 and then some sprint work supposed to be hurdle work but yep i did that block i did a couple blocks but definitely didn't feel good on my oblique slash ribs so um i think the workout for this this day was six by 50 meters working on top end so not really not really focused on the acceleration part just to save energy so um just wanted to give you a glimpse it's not really the you know the focus of this isn't to give you my whole workout but i can if that's something you guys want to see if you guys want to see like what a whole workout is or what it consists of let me know in the comments so like I said, I'm not trying to focus on the acceleration here. I'm really working on top end, so not something you can catch when the camera's behind you. Um, here's, an, here's a good, here's one where I'm working on acceleration, throwing the med ball into my uh, drive phase there. So yeah, pretty simple stuff for sprinting. Uh, I won't go into too much detail, but the reason I haven't been posting so much is I became an uncle. I have a niece and a nephew now, so yeah, I'll start posting more. This is for the vlog. Oh. <laughs> How come the baby always cries with you, mom? Fess up. Yeah, BL. That's what grandmas do. <laughs>